Hey guys, this is Korax. Today is Wednesday, 26th of August, and we got a midweeks events. So, uh, on top of the rock, paper, scissor event that has been going for quite a while now, we also have a lucky snatch event. So, this is an event where you can get Roland. Okay? He's a faction leader. He's currently not the best faction leader. However, he has a faction leader that you can obtain for free. Well, free. Free is not a word I should be using because it will cost you quite a lot of diamonds to do so. So, how does it work? Let's see through here, okay? So you spend lucky coins to play lucky snatch. You'll have a chance to win rare items and the specified event holy emblem. Increases one luck every luck snatch. The higher luck, the higher chance to get a soul crystal. When you get a soul crystal, the luck will be cleared. The soul crystal can be used to exchange for a rare holy emblem in the event store, which I'm going to show you later. Players will get cumulative rewards when the amount of times Lucky Snatch has been played reaches the specific amount. The unclaimed reward will be sent to your mail when the event is over. When the event is over, soul crystal and luck will not be cleared. The luck will be kept till the next event, so this event is going to be reoccurring. And players can exchange soul crystal items. Okay, so where do you spend your soul crystal? You spend them in the store here, as you can see. So this is the hotspot artifact for a dark cave. And there's also a one for untamed wildness. And me personally, I'll go for that one. Okay, I want this artifact. I want to, all skills of my units to be boosted by two. And here you can share, you can pick up the uh, holy emblem with the stats of your choice. So these are no random, okay guys? So this is the best way to obtain best in slot uh, emblems. Okay, so if you're running damage unit, you want that. Okay, and this is where you should you should be investing your diamonds in. You should have been buying them from shop, obviously. Well, you should, still should be buying them, but this is the best way to get what you want. Okay, you don't want any luck, you want that, so you basically want to get this crystal, and you only need two of them. Okay, so as I said before, there's two different. Hotspots, so you need to choose what you want. Okay, these are the hotspots now. So we got Wall of Knowledge and we got Tarnum's Capability, and then we got Everlasting Secret and Forgotten Autonom. Okay, so what well, me personally, as I said, I'm gonna go for Dive and my free to play account. So yeah, that's that was a bad roll, okay, and you got one chance. One free chance on everyone. Okay, so make sure you use both of them. As you can see, my luck is one, and my luck over here is one as well. Okay, you can spend diamonds. However, I'm gonna wait till the last day to spend diamonds. I always wait for the last day to spend the diamonds. Now the boxes that we get gonna give us some soul stones. Gonna give me everlasting secret, uh, more soul stones in a hundred. It's gonna give me an, a random. Um, Everlasting secret artifact. So it's just, this is why is where you basically should be investing your diamonds, especially if you're trying to get Roland as well. Okay. Now the other uh, event that we got going is um, that one. Okay. So paper, rock, scissors. Uh, I'm gonna move to my main account and I'm gonna do the pulls there because I already did some here. As you can see, okay, I got seven. Okay, so see on my uh, alt account, I got um, Devil from random SSI units, so I'm close to getting Devil to um, 4 star. Only need 10 more shots. So what I'm going to do here is, uh, obviously I'm going to go for Devil on my free to play account. So what we'll do here, I'll versus the Devil. And what I like to do is, I like to play Rock. And I play, will play Rock all the time. So I won. And I got Hawkeye Empire component. So see, that's worth quite a lot, guys. And if I get one of these Frost Packs or Heaven, that's worth a hundred bucks. So this is quite good uh, investment. And all the rewards, you can check them here. And all of them are worth a lot, except for that, okay? And you can only get so many scissors. I believe you can get 42 for free and you can also buy them here in store. You can spend uh, money on them. It's a real life currency, but you can also buy a couple for diamonds, okay? So you can buy 20 
30 using diamonds. So get up, you can get up to like 70 something, okay? Let's assume 72, okay? I'm not sure I didn't do the math. People did the math, so you can check that out. So 72 is going to get me up to that box, okay? And once you get higher, you'll be getting these SSI unit shards, okay? So basically you'll need like um, 50 rock, paper, scissors. So let's see how much 50 costs. 25 okay so it's not optimal okay well you can get good quality items from it don't get me wrong but I I'm not gonna spend money on that I already bought a magic airship so yeah okay let's play some rock paper scissors on this account let's get this devil okay so draw Yeah, we won. And okay, that's not the best thing. Two devil shots. Okay, just a little bit more. So what do I get? No bad. I didn't check the previous uh, rewards. Okay, so they are no bad. Really. So you should be able to get up to that for free. Okay, make sure you do the quests every day. That again. One more. And we draw again, okay. So that was it. Uh, there's also a couple more events happening. So live fest, you get one extra daily challenge, single purchase, so you can obtain um magic airship. If you're in a hurry, you can buy it, or you can wait. Maybe there's a one that's happening at the uh, end of the month, and it's going to go on sale. And uh, then you can also purchase Holy Emblem tickets, so you can buy a hundred of them, and you can exchange twenty for uh, the emblem of your choice. I don't think this is the best way to invest your money, because uh, it's a better way to just unlock the hero or the unit or even artifact. I don't, see these two ways? I don't like them. The only reason I would spend money is on any of that, okay? So, campaign celebration, Dragon Utopia, and Elite Challenges, okay? So, what we want to do here is you want to spend your stamina and get that. This is what I want, okay? On my main account, okay? We also get a weekly emblem. So, you get one hot emblem every day. You choose which one, okay? For, for five pounds, and you get 200 uh, soul stone a day, so uh, 1400. A day. Also, there's an endless grow fund available. So when you clear f uh, accumulated floors, you'll get all these rewards. And if you spend uh, 15 pounds, you'll get the bottom rewards, which is basically emblems. However, keep in mind these emblems look like see the purple box gonna give you a purple emblem. That one's gonna give you an orange one. Okay, so look at the box. So you can have for 15 pounds, you can have one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, uh, seven emblems, seven orange emblems, and seven uh, purple ones. So value is much better than that. Okay, buying die has much better value than buying everything else. Just like with your growth fund. Okay, let's move to my main account now. I'm just gonna put that screen on because I'm changing the account. And we're gonna talk about um, Magic Airship now. I purchased him today and I, I, I was preparing for him. So I'll tell you, I'll show you how I prepare for it. Okay, so we go to casters. And there's my magic ship. Okay. It's quite useful the unit. It's gonna make Astral a little bit stronger, but not too strong. He will still struggle with Dragon Mutare and um... Yeah, I don't have gold. <laughs> so 
So I've prepared everything except for gold. Anyway, this is something I want to get on. So, um, magic ship is going to be quite useful for uh, Astral. He will also be useful in the crypt as he buffs all the caster's damage. Okay, I'll need some resources here. But this is not the most important thing that I was preparing for. Because uh, I'm not a big spender. I spend uh, using my brain. Well, not using my brain, well. Yeah, using my brain, but what I mean is uh, I like to think about what I'm spending on, okay? So I like to spend the least amount and get the most benefits from it. So what I've done is I only purchased him to unlock him because I also had a double, uh, double diamonds here. So I got two benefits from that. And also what I've been preparing from Kingdom vs. Kingdom is all that, as you can see. So thanks to that, go can build that up obviously once I get some gold okay so let's just do it for the sake of uh, this video okay doesn't matter at the moment so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna buy all that stuff here and I'm gonna uh, do that basically okay so this will speed it up tremendously okay just two two times a day and that way i can get him uh, to a higher start it's gonna take me a bit of time however it's gonna save me a lot of money and this is what i'm aiming for i don't want to spend too much money on that game well on any game really okay so i'll be able to get like 15 shots a day so it's gonna take me a bit, but in the meantime, I still need some gold for it. Okay, so as I said before, play the lucky snatch. Twice a day you can do it. Oops, almost done that. Okay, try to get all these rewards and play your rock, paper, scissors. As you can see here, I didn't play it yet. And can play it now for you guys uh, so what I'm gonna do on my main account is I'm not going for devil got him for star and that's enough for me I want archangel to six star I'm not I know I'm not gonna be able to get it through this event but the closer I am the better basically I want this is why I'm not buying any emblems on my main account at the moment uh, I want to focus my three main SSRs which is Naga angel and uh, giant to six star I already got Naga so only means giant and um, angel. So this time around, I'm gonna play versus angel here. Okay, throw. I don't like this reward. <laughs> Let's see, maybe I'll get lucky and I'll get this artifact. That would be amazing because I'm okay. Five stars, Angel. That's good. five star shot, Angel. That's good. What I want is I need to focus on. Okay, that's nice. So I want to get Sword of Frost for this Endless Inferno. I've been struggling because of that. I need that to make and to do some extra CC using my Astral. So I'm, ch I'm changing, I'm not going for uh, Angelic Alliance, okay, that's my first loss, I never lost. I'm not going for Angelic Alliance, I'm going for Sword of Frost, okay, that's cool. Really like this event so far. However, I wish that Ubisoft made it easier to obtain the top tier rewards. They should uh, reward activity, no money, okay, so there should be a way to get more of this. Uh, tickets instead of actually finishing the up with money, okay? This is making a gap for free-to-play players. Okay, I'm throwing quite a lot now. Oops. Come on, 
give me sort of frost, give me sort of frost component. This is what I want. Okay, I lost that one. Yeah, 10,000 gold. Yeah, see, guys, I need gold and I'm getting gold. Okay, giant component. It's not bad. I'm still trying to get my giant uh, Titan Thunder to level 8. So it's quite useful. Okay, last more. Last cut. And I lost. Okay, so 10,000 gold. Yes, this is what I wanted. I wanted that gold, really, guys. This was, this was my goal. Okay, so uh, thank you for watching this short stream. I'll try to do these kind of uh, event updates during live so you can uh, talk to me. And uh, see you guys around. Enjoy your